It's day two of Amit Shah's campaign in Assam ahead of the assembly elections. Right now, we are getting visuals of Union Home Minister who has reached the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati. Well, that's uh, the top news that we're getting to you at the top of this uh, day two of Shah's Assam outreach. Later on, he will also be visiting uh, Manipur as well. Joining me on the broadcast is my colleague Aniro to give us more details. Aniro, this is a very crucial visit of uh, Amit Shah as uh, he is reaching out to the people of the Northeast to take us through his itinerary on day two of his mega outreach to the people of the Northeast. Uh, yes, Krishna. In a short while from now, Union Home Minister Amit Shah will be here at the tem uh, Kamekha Temple premises, and we have uh, we are picking up that he have already uh, reached uh, the footsteps of the Kamekha Hill, and now he is walking towards the uh, shrine. Uh, he is coming upstairs uh, to the shrine where he will be paying his homage to uh, Goddess Kamekha, and thereafter he will be leaving for Impal and. In Imphal, he will be uh, meeting uh, <coughs> several civil organizations towards the afternoon. But before the meeting uh, with the civil society organization, he will also uh, inaugurate several projects and uh, uh, lay foundation stone of several projects in uh, the in in in, in Imphal. And thereafter, uh, there will be a crucial round of meeting. Uh, with the civil society organization and uh, what uh, sources have been told us that most of the issues that uh, uh, centered upon the Naga Peace Accord or the Naga Framework Agreement will be discussed in this uh, crucial meeting that is scheduled towards the afternoon and towards the late evening the Union Home Minister will leave for New Delhi directly from Imphal. Amit Shah's visit to the North East, particularly uh, this visit holds a lot of significance because uh, Assam uh, is one of the major states in the northeast which is going uh, to poll right, in uh, hardly two. Right, stay with us, that we're getting live visuals of the Union Home Minister Amit Shah visiting the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati. He has just arrived. He is making his way up to the temple. We can see this on our screens. Visuals coming in of uh, Amit Shah walking up towards uh, the temple. Uh, Many of the BJP leaders also are with him. Back with me on the broadcast, Anidrud, take us through these live visuals. We're getting uh, Amit Shah visiting Kamakya Temple today as part of his itinerary on day two. Yes, Anirud, my voice is reaching out. You do, do take us through Amit Shah's visit to the Kamakya Temple. Uh, yes, and as you can see, these visuals, Union Home Minister Amit Shah has already raised the Kamekha Temple and he will be uh, paying his omniscience to Goddess Kamekha. He is also uh, accompanied by Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sunwal and uh, not his Democratic Alliance convener, Dr. Himanta Biriso Sarma, apart from several other top leaders of the state. Uh, it has been learned that the Union Home Minister will be spending around 15 to 20 minutes at the temple premises right. and thereafter he will leave for the airport and uh, right now he is going to enter the temple premises he is uh, walking uh, towards the uh, entrance of the temple from where he will directly head inside the Kamaika Temple. Elaborate security arrangement has been made. Elaborate arrangement has been made so that the Indian Home Minister can uh, have his darshan in a quiet and peaceful manner. As you, as as we talk, we can also see the visuals of on the television screen of Union. Home Minister Amit Shah arriving at the Kamaika Temple. This is his day two of the notice two and uh, right after visiting Kamaika Temple he will directly leave for Imphal where uh, he will have the second leg of several meetings and uh, engagements right. that is scheduled for the day.
No, unlike this West Bengal, he, are Amitra, from... he is all out wooing the people. He's visit, he's just reached the Kamakya temple. We can see that he's entering the Kamakya temple. These are in sh inside shots we're getting right now on our screens. Our viewers can see that he's entering the Kamakya temple in Guwahati right now. What's at stake for the BJP right now, uh, Anirudh? In uh, Assam, Assam goes to elections uh, next year. Yes, as uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah during his public address uh, yesterday clearly said that he is absolutely confident that uh, the BJP government in Assam is going to uh, get absolute majority in the 126-member house uh, where the halfway mark is 64 to claim the government. And meanwhile, uh, yesterday late night, he also may, uh, met with the several constituents of the Northeast Democratic Alliance or the NDA. And they had a several uh, rounds of talks, particularly with the Ahom Gona Porikot, with the, the UPPL, who uh, is the new ally of the BJP as, as far as the Boro territorial region is concerned. They also met with the leaders of the Ganasakti Party and several other small parties who have been constituents of the Northeast uh, Democratic Alliance here in the Northeast and, uh, and the Northeast Democratic Alliance in context of. Of the of the country and uh, and the union home minister had uh, made it very clear that uh, the, the allies who had been with the bjp which uh, who had been uh, with the bjp through the difficult times because right. the state government faced stiff opposition particularly from the public when the anti car the anti ca hesitation was at its peak and yesterday while he's at in his address to uh, the public the union home minister also questioned the intention of those who had had been protesting against the Citizenship Amendment Act because the Union Home Minister made it very clear that those who had been protesting uh, and who, those who uh, brought out people on the streets and uh, had be, uh, and were in who is in police fire and many many people died because of the anti car hesitation many people got injured and this same set of leader are now willing to join regional political parties or mainstream political parties in order to uh, take forward their own own political agenda and it, and and he he said that the 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 the, the, the mindset that the agenda of these leaders who were involved in the antica hesitation had been exposed so 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 the, the, there is a right. very clear message from the union home minister in this regard and you continue tracking all those latest updates for us from the ground we can see a union home minister amitra just leaving uh kamakya temple He's right now on day two of his visit. And it will do also take us through these latest updates. Uh, I believe right now we can see visuals coming in that he is with the temple priest. Amit Shah right now is with the temple priest. He has, uh, he is leaving, I believe, uh, from the Kamakya temple. He has paid his uh, respects to the goddess. Yes, you can see the Union Home Minister uh, is now offering his prayers at in front of the uh, Kamaika Temple Shrine and uh, after offering his obeisances here, the Union Home Minister will uh, head towards the main Garvagriha of the Kamaika Temple uh, where he will offer his prayers to Goddess Kamaika and thereafter uh, 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 he will take a parikrama of the Kamaika Temple before leaving for his last leg of his two day notice tour and now uh, you can see on your screen the union home minister entering the Kamaika temple premises uh, he is going inside the shrine and will be there for around three to five minutes where he will pay his omniscience to goddess Kamaika before coming out and thereafter they will directly head to right. uh, 
in fact where the Indian Home Minister has a series uh, of engagements. Absolutely, it's a, certainly a big significance for the BJP. Uh, Amit Shah's presence at this point of time in Assam, coming in on a two-day visit to the state, reaching out to the voters, reaching out to the people, going to the temples, visiting the priests. It's certainly a huge symbolic gesture at this point of time. Do take us through the significance of Amit Shah's spiritual visit as well. Joining on the broadcast, my colleague Niranjan joins us. Uh, Niranjan, take us through the significance of Amit Shah's visit at this point of time ahead of Assam elections next year. Well, my colleague uh, Niranjan joins us in a while. I'd like to tell our viewers that uh, this is a two-day visit of Amit Shah. Right now, he is visiting the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati. We can see him entering the temple at this point of time where he is paying his respects his, and prayers to the goddess of the Kamakya Temple. Uh, in that, this is his uh, second day to visit to the state of uh, Assam from here. He will go to the airport and then will leave for Manipur. Amit Shah is uh, reaching out to the voters and the people of Assam. This comes, this, is a, this has a major significance at this point of time. <laughs> 